Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellie. Today's video is my top 22 reads of 2022. Um, I find this incredibly difficult to get 22 favourite reads, even though I have read 150 books. But I did it, I got that. This is going to be just a video of me talking about all my favourite books, reads, universes that I've read this year. So without further ado, I'm just going to hop straight in. Um, there is 22 books, so lots to talk about. Um, this is in no particular order, I just, I'm going to talk about the books as I pick them up. Um, I could not rank them if I had a gun to my head. So, I'm not going to. Um, so, to start off with, very strong starting off. One of these is now my top book ever, so maybe I am ranking them slightly. Um, but it is Daisy Hates and Daisy Hates The Great Undoing. <sighs> you guys... You know how much I love Daisy Hates and like the whole universe, specifically the Daisy Hates side. This came out two weeks ago now, halfway through December. I devoured it. I think I stayed up until like 5am to read it. I loved it, like so much. Daisy and Christian have my heart. They just are incredible to me. I read Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates back in April before they blew up um, and now she's published. And it's insane how big these books have got. The Daisy Hate side of the universe is my favourite and these are two of my top books this year. Again, top book ever. If you haven't already read them, I highly recommend you do. I know Magnolia Parks might not be for everyone. There is cheating involved, um, a lot of back and forth, a lot of toxicity. That's Magnolia Parks. Daisy Hates, however, is like a gang side of London. It's like a friend's benefits. The love interest is Magnolia's best friend. And it's just so good, like so good. If you don't want to read Magnolia Parks, you can technically skip it and just read Daisy Hates. But the timeline of Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates runs alongside each other. Same with Magnolia Parks 2 and Daisy Hates 2, they run alongside each other. So you would be spoiled for Magnolia Parks if you did want to then go back and read it. Obviously that's not recommended, but you could do that if you wanted to. But the Daisy Hates side is my favourite forever and always i love them okay next up is another very hyped book it is so worth the hype um and that's addicted after all i went on my addicted journey this year i read the first three last year um but then picked them up again this year to actually carry on the series out of all the addicted books addicted after all is my favorite um it's like the perfect ending for lillian low they got the happy ending it was so so good um, if you haven't picked up the Addicted series, do it. Like, this is your sign to do it. Because the first two push through them. The third one's okay. But then once you get, like, into the Calloway Sisters and then, like, Thrive and Addicted after all, so, so good. I paced myself um, and read them all, like, spaced out. Um, I'm so glad I did because I just love this universe. Um, these characters feel so real. It's insane. Um, but yeah, this... Number three of my top reads, again, in no order. This is my favourite Lilo book. Um, and then following on from them are Hot House Flower and Long Way Down by Kristen Becker Ritchie. Again, these are Bright and Daisy's books in the Calloway Sisters series. Um, the reading order for the Calloway Sisters series and Addicted series is in the beginning of every book. So if you don't know what order to read them in, it's there. I love Rack and Daisy so much. This book, oh my god, I knew what happened. I knew what happened. I still bored like a baby. It was incredible. And I'm a Rack and Daisy stand until I die. So much so, I have a Camp Calloway jumper on right now. I have the most Rack and Daisy book match than I do any other book match. I love them so much. And you just need to read the books. If you haven't, read them. Next um, is Things You Never Got Over by Lucy Score. So good. It deserves all the hype it's got. Um, I originally read this back in like April. But Bad Intentions was my top book for the longest time. This is basically the same premise as Bad Intentions but longer so instantly I loved it. The amount of parallels between Nox and Naomi and Darren Lowe were insane. Um, this is small town, grumpy sunshine. She takes guardianship of her niece. 
um, there's found family in there. Um, I did like devour it in like a day, even though it's really thick, which was surprising to me. I loved it. And if you haven't already, pick it up. I actually just received the second book in the series um, today, um, a proof copy of it. So I will be diving into that immediately. I'm so excited to get back into the town of Nokamau. Nokamau? Is that what it's called? Nokamau, I think. Okay, next we have, again, another recent read that quickly became a favourite. Um, Spring Tide by Kai Stevens. And this came out on the 5th of December. I was lucky enough to receive an ARC. Absolutely devoured it. I knew I was going to like it. I didn't realise I was going to love it as much as I do. It's like top five books ever. This story follows Luca and Harper. It's a fake dating, sports, college romance, grumpy sunshine, neurodivergent characters, set like uh, at beach town. Um, it's the series is called um, Coastal University. I loved them. It was like perfect size. Luca is like described as the ice man, but then actually is like the sweetest soul ever. Harper is like a ray of sunshine. I loved this book and it needs more hype. So please go read it. Also, isn't the cover just absolutely stunning? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I loved it. Next up is another book talk fave, um, and that's Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I, again, read this as an arc, and I'm lucky enough to work with Hannah now. But Icebreaker, Hannah Grace, Midnight Rain character, figure skater, sunshine, golden retriever, hockey. Um, she's one of hockey players. He really wants her to like him. Again, fan family, best side characters. If you haven't already read it, read it. Following on from Icebreaker, another hockey romance is Play With Me by Becca Mack. This is actually book two in the series. Um, this is a brother's best friend, friends with benefits, close proximity, their neighbours, um, romance, so funny, such sweet characters, I love the characters so much. I have also seen quite a few people cry over it, I didn't cry, but it is emotional. But if you're looking for a new hockey romance, pick this series up by Becca Mack. Next is actually book number three in a series and it's Founded on Deception by Kat Singleton. Um, this series is a rock star series, pop star, rock star, and this book is the rock, the pop star's manager and the pop star's brother, um, Enemies to Lovers, False Proximity. I loved this. I loved Monica, the main character. A lot of people don't like her. I loved her. I also loved Aiden. He was like, he was like the funny side character in the other two books and like seeing him get his own book was incredible. Um, out of all of them, this was my favorite. And he memorizes her favorite food so that she can have her favorite food on tour, even though he claims he hates her. That doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. Next, another popular book, Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. Um, I read her Dirty Air series before it was actually complete, I think. Um, so I've watched her release her new series, Dream on Billionaire series. Um, this was so good. It was a perfect boss assistant dynamic. It was a marriage of convenience. So false proximity is in there. Iris was incredible. Like one of my top book girlfriends of the year. Um, I also really love Declan. I know some people don't like Declan in this, but I loved him. I think he's my second favourite Lauren Asher man. Again, if you haven't read it, read it. Next is The Rebel by Sophie Lark. This is book number two in the Kingmaker series, which is a spin-off series from her Brutal Birthright series. Um, and it takes place in like a mafia Hogwarts. This was like a forbidden, um, she's in an arranged marriage with someone else but he wants her so he like helps her get out of it. I loved the scenery, loved the setting, loved Miles and loved Zoe. Um, so this is my favourite in the series. Close second is The Air though. I haven't actually read the Brute Birthright series so you can read the Kingmaker series without reading it. Obviously it's not recommended but I did it and I still understood perfectly. Um, next is Trapped With You by Marzi Opal. The cover, incredible. This was easily top 10 reads of the year. Like if we are gonna rank them, this is in the top 10. Um, Marzi's writing is incredible. It has you feeling every single thing the character feels. And I felt that's so rare that you like actually feel the emotions the character are feeling. Um, 
this was a second chance um it's initiation night at their private prep boarding school thingy um and their exes and their partner together so it's like close proximity false proximity and there's then and now chapters and it was just so so good it's like bad girl bad boy but like she's seen as like the town's princess but she's actually not so so good 13 down nine to go i think and here's where i cheat the 14th is the inheritance game series if I was to choose one, it would be the Hawthorne Legacy, but I thought, let's put them all together. This was like my only non-contemporary romance and adult romance adult book I read this year, and it's a YA mystery. I ate these up. I literally devoured these in like two days. I like could not put them down. They were so addicting, and I think they were so easy to read because they were YA team jameson for life i loved it um i do actually need to go back and tap them all um because i wrote them all down on my notes when i read and rather than actually do it as i'm reading um this is um a dynasty a dynasty a really rich family their grandfather dies and all her inheritance is left to this random girl um so she gets to live in the like a massive mansion and everything and they have to figure out why she's been left it and there's like loads of clues it's like riddles so good i am gonna pick up a good girl's guide to murder soon because i've heard if i like this i like that but these were such easy reads and i did not expect to like them as much as i did um number 15 is again a bit of a cheat the simple wild series by k tucker um, again if i was to choose it would be wild at heart but I just love them all so much. This is the novella. Um, this follows Kala and Jonah. Um, Kala her, moves to Alaska to be with her dad. And like it's, she's very much a city girl. Um, and Jonah is the grumpy next door neighbour who works at her dad's pilot aircraft company thingy. And obviously it's Alaska so it's like in the middle of nowhere. It's much more Kala's story than it is Kala and Jonah but like the romance is is there i just love Kala so much i bawled my eyes out and the novella was like the perfect summary like sum up like ending for them it was beautiful i highly highly recommend the rest of these are standalones so fake empire empire by cw farnsworth arranged marriage high society in new york rival families trying to like former alliance almost this is one of my top arranged marriages of the year incredible and i feel like cw farnsworth doesn't get enough hype but she should i did talk about this in my haul um my last video um another one that shocked me was christina lauren's something wilder i actually haven't really enjoyed the last 20 percent of every christina lauren book i've read but i loved this one this is mystery in the middle of nowhere it's also in third person which i didn't think i'd like but i really really like it's like second chance as well and so she now runs like a camping experience thing and he goes to it on um, with his friends and there's like mystery in there i again read this all in one sitting shocked me that i liked it so much Okay, we're back in business. My camera battery died. The light might be different. The sun is about to set. I think there is only five books left. So this is gonna be rapid, but the next book is Archer's Voice by Mira Sheridan. Um, this was such a wholesome, cute read, and I can definitely see why it's a lot of people's comfort read. I read this when I was in the Lake District like a little cottage in the middle of nowhere and it was like the perfect scenery ever this is small town um she moves to the town and archer is like the town's weirdo and like everyone's mean to him and it's like don't bother with him like leave him alone um she ignores that she makes conversation with him she becomes friends with him they fall in love it was so cute i kind of went in not knowing much other than small town and i'm glad and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it like i said i can see why it's so many people's comfort read um really cute next is savage rivals by becca Steele. and um, this is a mm romance this is um 
football captain rivals of rival high schools, ones like the rich end of town and ones like the bad like rough end of town. It was like the perfect tension, the perfect like rivals to lovers. Um, it was so good. Um, I think it's my favourite MM so far. We'll see if any um, beat it in 2023. But look at this cute character art as well. Oh, I loved them. I loved them. Next is another book that I didn't expect to love as much as I do. Um, and that's Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. This is um, X's dad. Um, I have been meaning to pick up more books with this trip and just haven't. She breaks up with her boyfriend, but they have nowhere to live because she was living at her ex's dad's place so her ex his dad is like oh you can stay like he can go like you can stay like i'm really sorry he like messed you around i buddy read this with my friend and i'm just glad i buddy read it otherwise i probably wouldn't have picked it up anytime soon because ex's dad didn't really appeal to me until i read this it was so good guys so good take a shot every time i say so good Second to last, Normal People by Sally Rooney. Again, this was one I wasn't expecting to love as much as I did. Um, my friend Steph um, annotated it for me. If you want to see her annotations, she has a video up on her channel um, where she annotated it for me. Um, again, I feel like if this hadn't been annotated for me, I wouldn't have liked it as much as I did. Um, the writing style is quite difficult to get into, so just keep that in mind. I'm sure you already all know this. Um, but this is Invisible String by Taylor Swift kind of book. Marianne and Connell had a song, It Would Be That. And I think it's so real and so raw. And it was so good, so incredible. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And the TV adaption is like the closest adaption to TV to book that I've seen. Book to TV that I've seen ever. Um, and then last but certainly not least, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Oh my god, this was incredible. Um, I read You and Me on Vacation this time last year. I was like, oh, it was okay. Um, and then on a reading vlog, I tried to read Beach Read and just couldn't get into it. Um, so I picked up this on the reading vlog and absolutely devoured it. Um, I was, it was incredible. It was like my first five star read in months. Made Emily Henry an author by author for me. Um, it's small town. She's like a city girl. She works in publishing. She like loves her job um but she comes with her sister on their little like getaway the bookstore she goes into is owned by her like enemies family from like new york i think it's new york or the city whatever it was and it's like them falling in love but it's also like the relationship with her and her sister and like that story like that like plot line in it almost was so good i cried I, if you have been struggling to get into Emily Henry, I highly recommend you pick this one up. Um, I enjoyed it the most out of all of her books. I do have Happy Place next to me right now, which I'm 80 pages in, because the publishers were kind of sent me a proof copy, and I'm loving that one so far. Um, it may rival Book Lovers, who knows. I'm going to vlog it, so they'll have to wait until the closest publishing date for all my thoughts on that. I think that's all of them. Watch me go and edit this back and it's like 21 books and I missed one. But I think I've talked about all of the ones that are on my bed here, which is which I did get 22. Um, if not, these are my 21 books or 20 books or however many top reads of the year. I hope you enjoyed. If you have read any of these, let me know your thoughts. If you read any of these because of me, DM me and tell me all of your thoughts as you read it. I love those DMs, they're my favourite. As always, all the links are in the description. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I can't wait in the new year to discover more books and more favourites. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I am on my YouTube game next year. That is the plan, fingers crossed. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.